You know, the partnership we have with Dartmouth Hitchcock is a, is a critical thing. Having really a world-class partner that has the intellectual capital, the resources, the collaboration, philosophy is so critical. Dartmouth relationship played a key role in terms of su success we had here. Throughout the pandemic, but especially in the early days, telemedicine was critical for our doctors and our advanced practice providers to stay in touch with patients. Uh, we didn't know what was going to occur, with, and so having telemedicine was a safe way to stay in touch with patients. How are their non-COVID issues doing? How is their blood pressure? How are their medications doing? And we could do this all through telemedicine. One of the things that um, I was told while I was in ICU is that they have this close working relationship with Dartmouth Medical Center and they talked about telemedicine and they showed me the equipment, the monitors, the camera, and I was told that there could be occasions where a doctor would pop up on the screen from Dartmouth and, and start chatting with me. And I knew from talking with my nurses and my doctors that was an important part of my care. Nursing staff and physicians at Southwestern Vermont Medical Center have 24-hour access to the critical care team at Dartmouth-Hitchcock through telemedicine. Anytime they need to be in touch with the doctor or the nurse, they can do so with the touch of a button. When it came to inpatients in our hospital and the need for critical care, that's where our relationship with Dartmouth-Hitchcock really kicked in. It allowed us to keep patients, non-COVID patients who were very sick, and COVID patients who were very sick, and have that relationship with the critical care physicians at Dartmouth-Hitchcock through telemedicine. The future of connected care will only expand at satellite facilities. Right now, we use it for ICU, we use it for ED, we use it for some subspecialty and or urgent um, psychiatric ED consults, sometimes pharmacy consults, etc. I see this expanding much more broadly to specialty care, to education, to research. Telemedicine has been a great addition to our ability to care for sicker patients here at SVMC. But to have that backup of an intensive care physician right on the screen, right in the room, is invaluable. We have not appreciated how significant this movement into kind of a connected care format will actually be. Frankly, a lot of the cognitive assessments that occur for patients can be done virtually. And instead of driving two hours to see a specialist, it would be far more convenient to actually have it in your primary care provider's office and or in your general internist office that not only creates that connection between the practices, but actually serves the patients where they are currently. At some point soon when we emerge from this pandemic, there will be things that remain in place because everyone recognizes the benefits. One of the main examples is telemedicine. It certainly will be used for people that can't easily leave their home uh, for reasons due to illness, uh, travel, uh, other barriers to presenting in person. We see our partnership with SVMC as a very important step to serving the patients of Southern Vermont and those patients in Northern Massachusetts and Eastern New York State. To have been surrounded by nurses and doctors who truly cared and who made me feel important and I cannot express my gratitude any more than to say thank you and you saved my life. Our true success is working with others and working together. We've had a philosophy here of uh, working with Dartmouth Hitchcock as our true academic partner. Um, what you have there is a world-renowned academic medical center working with a very strong community hospital. It's a great example of how we can serve the needs of our community by working together and not working by ourselves. And they're always there for us when we needed them.